Zinc is involved. It's an it's an uh, a mineral it, that is involved in over 200 enzymatic reactions in the body, similar to magnesium. We know magnesium is involved in over 350 some odd enzymatic reactions. But what's unique about zinc is its underappreciated role when it comes to supporting hormonal health levels in men. It's quite exciting the mechanisms of action as to how zinc has been suggested to improve testosterone levels. Um, it's quite interesting. So we know that hypogonadism affects a lot of individuals, uh, not only just elderly, but now we have many uh, young men that, that are hypogonadal. And it's been recommended that zinc in the dose range of 200 uh, let me just read to you exactly what they say. In general, a common safe recommended dose of zinc would be twice per day for the course of four months of 220 milligrams of zinc, uh, yielding an equivalent of 50 milligrams of elemental zinc. So you want to look at your manufacturer on this. So in the studies, they use zinc glycinate or zinc sulfate, which is yielding about a, a 40%, 20-30% zinc. So um, elemental zinc in the in the realm of 50 to 100 milligrams has been shown to improve uh, low testosterone levels in men. In men. And, um, you know, we know the clinical treatment for testosterone in men is often... Um, recommended that men get uh, TRT and things like that. But the problem with that is once you go on TRT, uh, that does suppress your hypothalamic pituitary adrenal gonad axis. So there are downsides about just jumping on TRT. But as the scientists say here, the importance of zinc in various metabolic pathways, including the spermatozoa, is well established. Zinc acts by improving the morphological and functional aspects of sperm, and it also improves the functionality uh, and uh, biosynthesis of testosterone. So again, I want to share with you, uh, for those of you that are trying to conceive, you're having maybe fertility problems and you're looking for solutions to improve your, your fertility, uh, consider zinc. There's a lot of evidence to show that zinc actually improves sperm motility. When your body stores are deficient in these very important minerals, these enzymatic reactions suffer. And so that's why it's important to eat a whole real foods-based diet. Avoid phytates and things that will bind up these minerals. And also, if you exercise, if you go in the sauna, if you stress your body in the sauna, so, you know, hormetic stress is good, but when you sweat, you actually release zinc as well as sodium and other minerals as well. So you might want to consider if you're experiencing low testosterone, supplementing with 50 to 100 milligrams of zinc. I suggest 20 to 30 milligrams of zinc per day. Now, if you have issues with testosterone or if you go in the sauna, if you exercise, if you do these things, then yeah, you should probably increase the amount of zinc um, that you're taking. So I personally, uh, you know, if I go in the sauna, I'll take 50 milligrams that night. And um, it, it certainly does help with testosterone. DoctorsToTrust.com, world's number one site for short, annotated nutrition videos designed to share with loved ones.